Welcome to Hangar 37. Uh, today we're going to do a maiden flight for the Dynam Sea Wind. And uh, as it turns out, it was a short flight uh, with what looked like a near fatal crash. And then when I got out there, uh, pretty much the plane was all intact with the exception of a uh, torn up wing cowling from the prop and the float, right a wing float uh, that uh, broke off. Other than that, everything was pretty much uh, ship shape. And as you'll see, you'll be able to uh, witness uh, the severity of the crash uh, with quite a large bang. What caused the crash was a uh, disorientation. Uh, the plane uh, seems a little bit nose heavy and uh, uh, wants to uh, nose down. So I looked down to uh, adjust the elevator trim, lost orientation, nosed it right into the ground. Here, listen now. Yeah, water uh, sprayed up about eight foot. Here we are back at my shop, uh, and amazingly, uh, the plane is in pretty good shape, uh, pretty much in one piece, except for the uh, ripped wing cowling and the wing tip that came off. Uh, no damage to the prop. Uh, you can see the wires through there in the hole. Um, so all in all, I guess pretty lucky. Uh, I expected when I got out there with the pontoon boat that uh, I had a trash bag ready to trash it for the garbage. Uh, lucked out, and uh, I got to say this is one tough plane. And uh, you'll see as we go along, uh, there's the uh, wingtip end, and uh, basically it broke on the insert part. And I think part of the bang you heard was when that foam broke there. And uh, you can see how it just uh, broke away from that insert uh, that goes into the wing. Uh, so that's pretty much it. At this point, I'm just going to fast forward and show you that I'm using a five minute epoxy on this. And uh, the clip is uh, actually about five minutes long. So. Okay, the wing tip's pretty secure. So I'm going to replace this with this and I'll have to buy a new one. Instead of gluing this on, I, I use two-faced tape. It's pretty thin, it's good stuff and it's removable. when you want to take it off without breaking anything and then just put that baby in there nice and tight now that might come off if you really bang it up, but I believe it'll stay there until you want to take it off. As a safety measure, this is a little different than what they say you should do. They say you should put your screws through here. I, I bolted my wing on before I put this on. It's a lot easier and then just use the two-sided tape to put that on. And then I use uh, hinge tape. I use hinge tape across the top seam because that's where the uh, the wind's going to hit it. If it's going to lift, it's going to lift here. I don't do anything in the back. And on that crash, it didn't come off. And uh, if it didn't come off on that crash, it's not coming off. You don't need to glue that down. I think if you two side tape it. down. This will hold. You won't see it. There. 
You can't even see it. As good as new. I'll take that prop off. I'm going to check the shaft, make sure it's not bent. Uh, fix that decal on there. Yeah, I already touched this paint up. There was a bunch of chips that came off of here uh, when it hit. I just touched it up. I took the spray paint I used, sprayed it in a coffee can, and used a brush to touch it up. You can't even tell. It turned out great. This was all chipped out here. And this is a great paint. It dries real quick. It's the uh, Bellspar Anti-Rust Armor. Uh, terrific on, on foam. Uh, just make sure your first coat's 12 inches or so away and you won't bubble it up. Now this particular one is a, I hope you can see it, it's a gloss red number 21927. There you go. And it's it's a beautiful paint. I've used them on uh, several planes, and uh, they're holding up terrific. Um, I've done two other planes with that paint. You can see my uh, Carbon Z Cub Badger Cub. That's the red paint. Really nice. And also my FMS Pits. One other thing I want to mention is you'll notice the uh, stripes on it. I got an extra decal set and allowed me to uh, do this crossover stripe, carried it from the back here. I mean it really looks nice, dressed it up. And then I used the uh, logo, the rear uh, rudder section, and uh, I think that just looks a lot better. And this here part of the decal, I used on the tail, top of the tail, and uh, I think it just turned out terrific. Uh, I'm amazed after that crash that this is all in one piece. Well, there she is, the Dynam Sea Wind. Hopefully, we get this all in here. Yeah. Wingtip looks good as new. All right. Here it goes. Now this is the uh, after the repair. I did a quick repair uh, in my shop. I glued the wing tip back on and I put a new cowling. Uh, one of the things I would suggest to anybody buying this plane is that they uh, get an extra cowling uh, cockpit and cowling set. I think they're about eight or nine dollars from Motion RC. Uh, I saw uh, before I bought it. I was doing some research on YouTube and uh, quite a few people. Uh, had suggested to uh, get that extra because uh, even on a hard bouncy landing that uh, cowling that wing cowling gets torn up from the prop so I did buy one and I had one here so after the crash I taped on a new one and glued the wing tip uh, float end on with epoxy and uh, waited five minutes uh, touched up some paint fast drying paint a uh, half hour later, we were out here flying again. Uh, I got to say, the uh, Dynam uh, C Win is one tough airplane to survive a plane, a, cr a crash like that, and to come out uh, and fly it. Uh, granted, I'm not the best flyer. I'm still struggling with it here, as you can see. Uh, and as the landing, uh, you'll see as uh, when the landing comes up, uh, you'll see that uh, I, I just don't have the CG proper on this thing. And. Uh, something I'm going to work on. I, uh, I called it a day after this landing and uh, 
Uh, I'm going to do a little homework, uh, uh, watch some more videos and uh, talk on the RC groups and and see basically where that CG might uh, have to be on it. Because I was dead on it at 45 millimeters and uh, uh, she wanted the porpoise all over the place. You'll see here she bounces up. Yeah, well, she survived the fly another day. That's the main thing. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, uh, hit the like button. Please comment. Uh, and subscribe. Uh, this is one of uh, many that are going to be coming up this summer and fall. So thanks again for watching. You all have a great day. Bye.